Imagine the following scenario many of us have found ourselves in. It's been a brutally long day. You're exhausted and tomorrow is likely to be even tougher. You get into bed a little earlier, hoping to catch an extra hour of sleep. And yet, despite your exhaustion, you're wide awake. Mind running 100 miles an hour across everything from the bananas you forgot to pick up at the grocery store to the allocation of funds in your 401k. You look at the clock, realize it's been an hour, and you still don't seem any closer to falling asleep. Frustration builds, along with some fear of how tomorrow will go if you don't get some sleep. If you're paying attention, thoughts like these start swarming across your mental landscapes. Why can't I just fall asleep? I wish my brain would just shut off. The presentation tomorrow is going to be a disaster if I don't get some sleep. Should I take something to help knock me out? I knew I shouldn't have had that last beer after dinner. The fear and frustration are stronger now and sleep seems even further away. Now, a new emotion sets in. Panic. What if there's something wrong with me? It's not normal to be this tired and not sleep. Wait a second. How come I can feel my heartbeat? Is there something wrong with my heart? Do I need to go to the emergency room? Eventually, you do finally pass out. But no sooner than you do, it seems, the alarm's ringing and it's time to get up. You glance at the clock and realize you only got three hours of sleep. This example illustrates a simple psychological truth. For a certain class of problems, the harder we try, the worse the problem becomes. I call these problems paradoxical problems because our standard approach to solving them only makes them worse. In the case of sleep, the more we worry about not sleeping, the less sleepy we become. When we worry, ruminate, problem solve, and generally expend mental energy trying to do anything, we signal to our brain to go into work mode. And work mode, technically arousal, is the exact opposite of sleep. You can't be aroused and sleepy at the same time. And even though our instinctive response to any problem is to try harder, especially to think harder, in cases like this, it only makes the problem worse. <laughs>